Hey guys, what is up? Got a cross over update. This is what they're gonna look like. They're gonna be in their own little casing like that. So you can check out the beauty. Um, I gotta wait to actually get the rest of them done, but what I had to do is go back in here and see what I'm doing here. Owning out these holes. give them one final clean down uh what i'm looking for next is i gotta go to lowe's and get uh two four three more packs of these they're one inch nylon spacers this is what they look like uh, send your screw through them that's all it is just a spacer that's what gives you your uh, space in here. Sorry. So you can get that right there, you see it? And that's it. So, now these will fit. There you go. Six of these fuckers in each one. There you go. And then flip it over, spacers go in. Like so. for is that little black capacitor it's a nice size capacitor it's a non-polarized capacitor uh 40 microfarad 110 volt i ended up getting 100 volt 40 uh microfarad so a little shy on the voltage but did what I could. Hopefully it doesn't cause any problems. I do have the original one. I can also try it again. Alright, I got both of these soldered in to jump onto the inputs, which are right here. They just need squeezed on, and then you heat them up, and the shit melts. As you see there, gives it a nice good tight seal. And then that switch right there goes up through, which does the uh, operational, operating mode vocal playback, which I have no idea. I'm still looking that up. And other than that, guys, I'm uh, gonna call it a night. I got what I needed to get done for now. I'll go to Lowe's and get them on the way home. And that's it. I'll take one of these with me one-inch nylon spacers, two per pack, and he's six more. All right, guys. That's it, man. I'm gonna call it tonight. I'm getting tired. I gotta get up in the morning. I appreciate everybody that's watching my videos. 
and for the future when I'm dead and gone, my boys can look back and see, look at dad was into his own little hobby, you know, whatever. Plus keeps me busy out here. We do gotta get working on, I don't know, once I get my next vacation, I gotta get this in, in my car. Uh, in the back of my car, there's a bar that goes diagonal. I'm going to take a sawzall and cut that fucker out. It's right behind the back seat. It's like, it's like a bar that goes diagonal for the back of your seat. And this way it'll be a clean, I could crawl through if I wanted, you know what I mean? So we get that cut out. Uh, get a chunk of board mounted right after that. And remount my amps and everything. Make everything nice and neat. Cause it's just a fucking mess in there and we're gonna get back to work on this the dmx because uh i plan to have both 15s up and running um yeah all right guys i'm gonna go i was just staring at these these are so beautiful these go to them big horns look at these fucking motors have you ever seen something they're the size of that subwoofer motor, and that's a tweeter. Tweeter mid-range. These fucking motors probably weigh about 30 pounds. Super fucking heavy. They go to them down there. And it tells you to mount them 30 feet in the air. They're from 1950. Uh, I got them all re -siliconed where the spots were fucked up. But uh, eventually, I'd like to get them in my living room. Like up in the air. It sounds fucking amazing. All right, and then I could use the horns that I'm making these for, for the tweeters. Make them the mids. For the voice and shit. And then have all the woofers for the bass. It'd be fucking awesome. All right, man, I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys. Peace.